Today, welcome to MyVariableRegistration.com. Lesson 18 today, and the lesson is today, the Word of God is true. Uh, before we get started, I'll have Minister Love do some opening words. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. All right. Thank you, Miss Cindy. And welcome back uh, with us, uh, RES. As Cindy said, now, remember now, on MyBibleRegistration.com, we've been asking just a simple question. Why should I study my Bible? And Cindy just gave us the reason why for lesson number 18. It is because what? The Word of God is what? True. It's true. That's a good reason to study the Bible, right, Cindy? That's right. Right. See, share with us, when you think of the word true, what comes to mind? It's not a lie. It's not a lie. If this book is true. They cannot prove anything in here is not fact and uh, any lie. So what better thing to read than the Bible? Because uh, any other book you read, there could be some lies in it because it's written by man. But this one is written by God through man. So we'll see, see how it is that one goes. Okay, all right. <laughs> I like that. That's a, that's a great way to look at uh, the word true. Uh, it simply is not a lie. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why a lot of people avoid the word of God because they're living in a life of lies. And if they came to the truth, it would upset their lifestyle. True. So they got to stay away from the truth. And I think a lot of people, they can't handle the truth. Remember that mm -hmm. movie? Uh, you can't handle the truth. And a lot of people can't handle the Bible. Uh, they they did in it for a little while and then they gotta leave. Right. And it's something about it that just pricks their conscience and they don't, they close it up and don't want to read it no more. But they don't like what what the spirit is saying to them because the truth really does hurt, doesn't it? And yeah. we would never be healed if we don't get hurt. True. Life ain't full of joy all the time, and, and you won't grow unless you get hurt. That is true. Are you saying this? That's right. You're going to pay for all your actions. And a lot of people, they want to sneak around thinking that they can do that. They can sneak around and do all their little dirty deeds. But so if they read the Bible, they're going to find out that, whoa, I'm going to get judged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing. But I won't know unless I'm in it, but unless I face the truth. Right. You know, uh -uh, like Jesus said, the truth will what? Make you, you free. free. Or some scriptures say, set you free. Mm -hmm. So this word true, uh, especially in the times that we're living in today, I mean, it, 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 truth, as it, truth look like it's somewhere in jail. It's in prison. And lying has escaped. And lies is all over the place. Truth is locked up. But eventually, truth will get out, won't it? Yep. Yeah. So let's take a look at our first scripture on the why we study our Bible and we pray that you audience would uh, develop this habit as well. Let's take a look. We're going to go to Psalms again, huh, Sandy? Yes, we right. We were there last week. Let's go back to Psalms 119 mm -hmm. and we're going to read verse 160. And Sandy, can you read that for us and share with us what is this uh, scripture speaking to you about on this word called true? Okay. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. So, saying that this word in this Bible, from the beginning in Genesis to the end to Revelations, mm -hmm. that this word is true, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. So, everything that's in this Bible endures forever. Everything else can pass away, but this is the, this word will last forever, and that's what I see in this scripture. Yeah, yeah. So it goes right back again to what we just talked about. Notice it says that uh, uh, right there at the end it says what thy righteous what judgments. Notice the key judgments. Did we not just say that when you're in the Bible that it's going to convict you? Yes. And it's going to let you know about your life, and, and this is forever. Mm -hmm. So, whether we like it or not, we can live our life and think this Bible is not relevant. You can die today and come back 5,000 years from now. This Bible is still going to be judging you forever. <laughs> right. Nothing's going to change. You can't change the word of God. It's going to be true. 
Right. The word of God is to change me. I'm not to change the word. It changes me. Right. I'm the one that's a liar. I'm the one that's the hypocrite. Are you seeing this? That's right. I'm the one that needs changing. We don't change the Bible. Because mm. what did David say? This is David talking again. Evidently, David knows something about his relationship with God. David knows God. He knows God so well. He knows God's word. He said, God's word is what? True. Mm -hmm. And if anybody that was a hypocrite and a liar and a murderer and that had to come to face to face with God's word, it would be David. Mm -hmm. David did not say, I didn't read that Bible. I like my life. I don't want to be this. I want to be a uh, big, bad, and tough. Okay, okay. David didn't want to. He had to humble himself, didn't he? Right, because it was the way he lived was torturous for him. And eventually, yeah. you know, he just had to go, oh, my God, what am I doing to myself and the people around me? I yeah. I need to get back to God. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, we had this, uh, this uh, worldwide leader uh, in the Christian community uh, just found out. I mean, his father was forming it. I mean, people followed this, uh, this university, this well-known Christian university, coming back out a few days ago that the leader he and his wife was having a secret affair with this other guy that's right why nobody's sacred in this world uh -uh. No. So, so that's a judgment it is. so that judgment on that behavior in 1820 or uh, 1720 god's word is still the same that's right we got to be in the Word. So if you go back to the Word, when you're done wrong, go back and so you can get uh, convicted so you, we can be better. Right. Right. Keep improving all the time. All the time. Right. Because it's, it's always going to uh, hit you when you go. It's telling you like, oh, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And your conscience is going to be so much more powerful than it was. You know, yeah. it, it'll start eating at you. Yeah. This is why I can't afford it. I look at uh, the world, but I know for me personally, this is why it's called, why should I say it? my Bible? This is why it's called my Bible, right? Right. But, so for me personally, I cannot afford not to be in my Bible every day. Right. I can't afford not to be. Right. Because the moment I, I miss one day, I miss two, three, four, and next thing I'm missing years. Months right. turn, days turn into months, and months turn into years. That's true. And then before you know it, the judgments got piled up. Right. That's right. Woo! Let's take a look at another one. Wow, that was good. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 10. Okay. 10 10. 10 10. All right. I'm going to say to me again and share with, uh, us, uh, share with us your thoughts on this one, too. Okay. But the Lord is the true God, and that's Lord in all capitals, that's Jehovah. Uh -huh. He is the living God, an everlasting king. At his wrath the earth shall tremble, and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. Woo, 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 woo. That's powerful. That is powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So no matter what man and nations try to pull... God has the last word, and the truth shall come upon the people. Oh, my God. And he's the king. He's, he's, he is the true God. He's a living God and everlasting God. And his wrath shall shake the earth. Wow. Kind of like what we're seeing today, but yeah, now, yeah, like the hurricane and stuff. So, yeah, different things that are happening. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Right, land is falling into the sea. There's just a lot going on. And now today, all the sheep are dying in, um, I forgot what country it was, a, had a lightning strike. 500 sheep sheep just fell dead. And, um, and then the lightning that flashed and caused a lot of fires in California. God's wrath is out there right now, um, trying to get the people to understand. On true God, he's the everlasting king. And he exactly. will he will bring judgment and wrath on you, and you know he's got, it's his earth. He can do what he wants. So mm -hmm. wow, powerful. Yeah. yeah. So here it is Jeremiah, a prophet now. So Jeremiah has a relationship like David did. Right. So David did the same thing. He said, "You know this verse is true." Now we got David, uh, Jeremiah saying the same, same thing. thing. And notice he said, 
what the notice he starts to text off with the word what but but yeah because every minute something been going on people ain't been believing in the true god right. you said but the lord mm -hmm. talking about your own but it's the who true oh, god. god and wow that's that that makes me want to study my bible right because everything in this book is what true, true, whether you like it or not, <laughs> whether you agree with it or not, it's still God's word and it's what true. Mm -hmm. And not only is the word true, but the word it represents God as a lie. Right. He ain't dead. Mm -hmm. So when I pick up my Bible, I'm reading a book that is current about a living God. Mm -hmm. And it says that not only does he live, but he's what everlasting. Mm -hmm. So whether we're in the year 2020, 3020, or 1020, uh, the earth is going to tremble. He's going to show his wrath when people don't matter what, what era you grow up in. If you're not uh, uh, developing a relationship with God, you're going to trigger his wrath. That's right. Start serving and faithing God. Start closing up your Bible. Start saying it don't make no sense. Start saying I don't need to read it. Okay. All you do, you, you may not get it in that year. God may wait 10, 20, 30, 100, 200, 400 years, but you will see his indignation. True. Oh, you will see his wrath. Right. Because you're believing in the pagan gods. Right. You believe in what man tell you. Mm -hmm. But he said, he said, they going to do this and they going to do that. Right. Because God, God shut down all the, a lot of the idols with the COVID. All the, all the, all the, all the um, entertainment, the uh, sports. Yeah. Yeah. All the uh, movies. That's mm -hmm. all been shut down because those are idols. Right. Those are idols of people right. who spend most of their time watching all that stuff, spending their mm -hmm. money, thousands of dollars on that stuff. And they don't yeah. even give God 30 minutes a day to talk to him. Yeah. And that's all he wants. That's all. That's it. Hey, listen, we got to move into these one more, one more. Okay, real quickly. Let's go to John 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. I'm going to read this one. All right. Here. John 15. Uh, verse. So Jesus is talking to what he says. What does he say? I mm -hmm. am the what? True vine, that's the key word, true. He says, I am the true vine, and my father is the what husband. In mm -hmm. other words, Jesus is identifying, he's just like his father. His father is true, and Jesus said, I'm true too. Right. Are you saying this? That's right. And he said, my father is the husband, meaning that the, the father is the caretaker. Right. He's going to make sure Jesus stay within the, the, the truth. Mm -hmm. Because when we're raising our children, don't we want to teach them the truth? Right. And that, that's why we got to take care of them. We raise them the best that we can. But we're, we're talking of us in a physical raising. But this is totally different. Spiritual. Jesus is in a spiritual raising. And his dad is going to make sure that he is raised to do the truth. That's why the Jews didn't like it. That's why the Gentiles didn't like it because he came telling the truth because they loved living their lives in the dark. They were simple. Right, simple. <laughs> well, we gotta get wow. right there. I tell you, this is so good on the reason that we should study our Bibles. This is just week number 18. You don't want it this week uh, 19. Coming up next week, we got another good reason for you guys to open up your Bible. I'm in a salon right here at my Bible, registration.com with my partner at the other end. Sister Sandy, share with them who you with. Source Outreach Ministries. Have a great day. God bless. All right. Thank you. God bless.